Hey, good evening, guys. That's right. You can hear the heavy machinery moving all around me. Crews here in Newark are making their way down Keir Avenue, where they are taking the lead out and replacing that with new copper water lines. And the mayor said this money from the Port Authority definitely comes at an opportune time. It will make a difference for the people who live here. They're not going to pay. There's not going to be an increase in their water bill and their taxes because of this. The city of Newark took out a $120 million loan from the county to pay for the replacement of thousands of lead service lines. That's the lead. But after renegotiating their lease with the Port Authority, which runs the seaport and airport out of Newark, they'll get an extra $155 million over the next 30 years. The water's on. Yeah, I see it. Okay. A cash infusion that will more than cover the project. We're the only city in the America that is fixing their lead service lines without the help of anybody else who raised their own dollars and, are, and raised their own money to pay the debt service at the same time in 24 to 30 months. This is a good thing. People who live here welcomed the news but said the work had to be done at any cost. No, the main thing was to get in the water. That was paramount. So everything else became my new. People can buy less lottery tickets and less of this and less of that, it has to be done. Newark has been distributing water bottles and filters for months after tests showed dangerously high levels of lead in drinking water. I've never had a situation where I felt like Flint. By the time this whole project is done, Newark will have replaced about 18,000 lead service lines. The whole thing is expected to take about two to two and a half years. Live in Newark, I'm Christy Duffy, PIX11 News.